Going to Pali, the first Zermatt summit took place in 2010. Uh, we're going into the eighth summit. You've been a regular guest at this summit, so you've been here for quite some time already. What would you say is the red thread going through all of these uh, Zermatt summits so far? The red thread is we got to change the business model. I mean, we can't continue doing business as we're doing and just change on the fringes. You have to fundamentally transform the way we're doing business. It has to become human. It has to become natural. It has to become a capacity to respond to the needs of everyone. Now we're going to the eighth summit, uh, September 2019. What are the highlights in your view this year? But the highlight is obviously to have 30 entrepreneurs who come together and no one has heard of them. I mean, these are entrepreneurs who bring innovations that are ruptures, that are departures from the traditional logic of doing business. And they're real and they're here. And we're going to discuss with them how to take them fast and big scale. One of the topics of the event, of the summit, is, is probably that uh, we have to try to make, to make profit without losers or not making profit just for the profit's sake. Uh, what does that mean exactly and what does it mean to you? Well, first of all, we have to stop doing less bad. I mean, having no impact doesn't exist for me. You always have an impact. But you are going to make a very clear decision. Am I having a positive impact? And how big that positive impact will be? And one of those elements will be that you will gain your own margins and profits. But most important is we're building social capital. We're building up the common good. We're building up resilience in society. And if that's not part of your agenda, you're not part of the business of the future. One of the, the, the peculiarities of, of this event, of the Zermatt Summit, is that we don't just talk about theories, but we also get a kind of a hands-on approach where we see uh, all these ideas being, being uh, transmitted and being transformed into, into real examples. Uh, can you give us some of those examples? Well, first of all, we should be sick and tired of people only talking. I mean, no more, please, no more. I mean, I've been at the COP meetings for 24 years and it's nothing but heads talking and pictures being taken. We need people who can show what is done. So if we're saying you can make paper out of rocks, show me the paper, show me the factories that you have built. If we're saying that we can have transmission of internet over light, even public light, show me how it works, install it in my room. And I think that's the kind of pragmatism we need. We have too many people announcing the great innovations of the future and predicting where the future is going to. We need to be in touch with it. We need to sense it. We need to feel it. And we know the heart of the people who stand behind it. Why, from all places in the world, does this summit take place in Zermatt? Zermatt is a place that has decided, with an incredible mayor, a lady mayor, with an incredible mayor, she has decided that this place is going to be an example of sustainability. She's just going to make certain it's 100% renewable and local, and she's just going to make certain that you're not driving just into the place. You're going to have to walk and take the train to the place, and you have to make an effort to get there, because the beauty is so exceptional that if you don't make an effort, you don't deserve to get there. There are about 200 people attending the summit. Who are those people? Who are those attendees? First of all, don't expect too much. Expect a warm environment, incredible people, minds you never come across before, projects you haven't even seen and heard of, you think they're all dreamers, but expect that you are taking beyond your boundaries. Expect that you have been taking into initiatives that is beyond wildest dreams, and yet they're funded and yet they're being implemented. So who do you need for that? Well, you need in the first place the entrepreneurs themselves. You need the inventors. You need to have the people who support those inventors, even the mentors, those who are providing coaching and guidance around them. And then you, of course, need the people who say, me too, I like to join that. And people who think that I have certain resources, but I'm thinking about my next generation. I'm thinking about children and grandchildren. I want to have people there who want to leave legacy. Zermatt Summit is for those who want to leave legacy, not just to an investment. There's always a main theme uh, at the summit. What is it this year on the 12th of September 2019? Well, I don't care too much about what the title is because it's the matter of having the right people with the right heart, right spirit, right motivation, the right vision 
around the table. But this year's summit is actually recompiling the spirit of the previous summits and it's called Entrepreneurship for the Common Good. When we take the huge topic of sustainability, what in your view would be the, the biggest challenge? Where do you see the biggest challenge and, and where do you see the solutions to them? The biggest challenge we have is ignorance. People just don't know. People don't know what is possible. I mean, we're bombarded every day with so much bad news that, you know, we have a hard time imagining the good news. And so what we want to make certain is that people are in touch with the good news. And second, we need everyone to tell good stories to other people. I mean, if you listen to a conversation today, most of the time it is about the bad things that are happening and the bad presidents we're seeing and listening to, etc. So we do not want that story to go around. We want to have the story we have done, we've taken initiative, we've acted. And I believe that that is the spirit that came out of the seventh version last year of the Zermatt Summit, where people said that, you know, I really want to come back and see what has happened in the next 12 months. And not only what I want to see what has happened, I want to know what have you done to make it happen. Kuntipali, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.